if you're interested in purchasing some Doc Martens, here's some tips to help you get started. The first thing to consider is what type of style and material that you want to get for your Doc Martens because this will play a key role in how much you're going to spend for your Doc Martens. For example, the 1460 is like the middle ground and if you look on one end of the spectrum, you have the 1461s which are a little bit cheaper than the 1460s. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have the Jadens which are more expensive than the 1460s. When it comes to the materials, depending on what type of leather that you want, the cost may vary. For example, the smooth leather, which is like the iconic Doc Martin leather, these are very hard to break into and a lot of people do struggle with them. While on the other end of the spectrum, you have something that's more softer. For example, the vegans, they're not leather, they're synthetic. But if you want some leather, they do have some soft leather like the Virginia leather, the Pisa leather, and also the Napper leather which they're great alternatives and you don't have to do so much when it comes to breaking into your Doc Martin. Lastly, another thing to consider is the bigger the sole, most likely the more you're going to have to pay. Sizing. It is important to choose the right size to ensure a comfortable fit. Doc Martens do not offer half sizes, so if you're unsure of your Doc Martens size, if it's possible, please go to a Doc Martens store and try one of the Doc Martens boots. If that's not a possibility, consider measuring your feet and comparing it to the size chart on the Doc Martens website. Your Doc Martens should fit snug and have some wiggle room in the toe area. Your toes should not be touching the front of your boots. For the most part, the core Doc Martens do all have the same sizing. For example, my 1460, 1461s, my Chelsea boots, and my Jadens are all a US size 9, and they fit pretty much the same. But when it comes to my sandals and my Tarek Lowe's, those, they fit a little bit different. That's why I highly recommend, if possible, you can try the boots, the shoes, the sandals in store before you purchase them, because sometimes they fit a little wonky. Breaking into your Doc Martens. This is another important part after you buy your Doc Martens. Doc Martens are durable, but they're known to be stiff when you first wear them. There are multiple ways to break into your Doc Martens, and some of them are more riskier than others, but this is like the boring but safe way to break into your Doc Martens. It's guaranteed you're not gonna mess up your boots or anything like that. The first time you wear your Doc Martens, I would recommend you to wear them with thick socks. This would make a protective layer for your feet, which will fight against blisters or anything like that, and it'll make them fit comfortable later on. Wear them for short periods of time when you first get them. This will prevent discomfort and aches and all of that so that you're not complaining too much. I recommend an hour or two and then you switch them out. Gradually increase the amount of time that you wear your Doc Martens. For example, you can start with one hour and then eventually make it to two, three. And as your feet is getting more and more comfortable, you can slowly increase this so that you're not feeling any discomfort. I don't recommend putting on a pair of Doc Martens going to a party or doing anything crazy just something simple and gradual and you break into your Doc Martens remember breaking into Doc Martens take time so be patient and if you feel any discomfort don't be afraid to take breaks and gradually figure it out and eventually your Doc Martens will be your go-to shoes I know some of you guys are a little bit on edge and if you want that crazy ways of how to break into your Doc Martens, check out this video, which I show 10 different ways that people are breaking into their Doc Martens, and I'm sure most of them are gonna be crazy. So yeah, check it out and see how it is.